Now, let me give you the three weapons of victory for you to break through. Write them down. The things that you must engage on non-stop. Praise the name of the Lord. Number one, from today, you need to be a talker of God's language. The Bible told us in the book of Proverbs 18, beautiful verse number 21, it says life and death is where? It is where? It is where? So God has given you his word. Say the word. That's the weapon. Plus your mouth. I almost said big mouth. Eh? Plus what? Plus faith. When the word of God is spoken by your mouth consistently, miracles are produced. Because the word is the material that God requires to produce your miracle. That's why Ephesians chapter 6, Paul speaking to the church of Ephesus. In Ephesians chapter 6, beginning from verse 10, he says, Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Eh? He said, Put on the whole armor of God so that you are able to stand against all the wiles of the devil. Eh? We fast forward, we go to verse 18 where it says taking, I think it's verse 7, it says taking what? The sword of the spirit which is what? Which is the word of God. Become a talker of God's language. If you are praying for a particular financial breakthrough or you are praying for healing in your body, God will not perform that miracle unless you give him the material for producing it. It is the word of God that makes conduct with your big mouth. If you pray to God and you don't follow it up by talking the word of faith concerning that matter, you will talk the whole year, nothing will happen. For every miracle, there must be a specific word attached. If it's healing, you attach First Peter 2.24. If it is financial breakthrough, you attach Isaiah 45 verse 3. Where God says, I will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. So that by you, my name may be glorified. That word you've got to homologia it, you've got to matter it, you've got to recite it. You see, Muslims five times a day they recite certain scriptures. Look at how they are taking over. It's useless to receive a word from the church and forget it when you go out of this door. Because your failure will result in people insulting your pastor. So when you are in your house alone or in your office or in your car, work the word. Recite it, recite it, recite it, recite it. By the wounds I was healed, by the wounds. And the word of God will not work if you say by the wounds I was healed. As soon as you finish, you drink coke and fed cooks. I'm healthy because I I'm a disciplined eater. Yesterday before I traveled, I was on my treadmill. I don't know how many kilometers I ran on my treadmill. Because there's no gain without pain. Faith without works is dead. How can I expect to be healthy? I don't exercise. I eat junk. I'm always angry. How can I be healthy? Life is highly spiritual. You guard your heart. Are you understanding? Issues that don't sit well with you, you put them in a shelf somewhere. When it's time to deal with them, you open that shelf, you bring them out. After you are done, you put them back. Because you've got to guard your heart. Are you hearing me? Money avoids angry people. 
Remember, money was designed to make people happy. So if it finds you angry, it goes. Am I communicating in the house? Are you learning something? So you need to be, weapon number one is the word. Life and death is in the power of what? Of your tongue. Eh? Joshua 1.8 This book of the law must not depart from where? From your mouth. Meditate on it when? Day and night. So that we are careful to do what it, what, what it commands. It says in that way you will make your ways what? Prosperous and you shall produce what? Good success. Who produces the success? Not God, it's you. While we are crying, we are waiting for God. God is waiting for you. This is our year. I prophesy from this coming week you will break through into amazing things. You shall be a walking wonder. If you are receiving this word, we are not in drama. I'm coaching you tonight. This is wisdom. Be a talker of the word. Hallelujah. You are declaring I'm a tither. I'm a giver. Money follows me. Money appears for me. The Bible says give and it shall be given. As I'm work, moving around this day working, someone will come and release money to me. And over and above that, after speaking, you obey the law of expecting. Are you hearing me? You obey what? The law of expecting. Every day, you visualize. Yes. Yes. Look up into the heavens. Say, Father, I can see my better tomorrow. My future is bright. Say, I can see money is coming. I can see new ideas are coming upon me. Innovation, new ideas, strategies, money making strategies. I'm not born again to fail. I carry the money grace. God has given me power to get money. By the work of my hands, I will make money in the name of Jesus. I'm no longer ordinary. I'm an anointed seller of merchandise. I'm an anointed seller of products. I'm an anointed importer of needed products and commodities. Father God, money will flow into my life because I will work smart and I will work hard. No more lazing around. No more underperforming. Pray like you're praying. La Castalina Masuka. Lembra Hashana Masaka. Ye la Masuka Babaya. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Weapon number two, apart from the word of God that you speak with your mouth, is the weapon of your new identity. Look at Isaiah chapter 61, precisely verse number six and seven. We are not ordinary people. I, especially if we read it in the New Living Translation. It says you shall be named the priest of the Lord. Can you see it? The Bible in Revelations 1, 5, it says unto Jesus, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, the ruler over all the kings of the earth, the one who loved us and washed our sins in his blood and made us kings and priests. This is a present day reality. You are not ordinary. You have a spiritual high office. Are you understanding me? Don't allow devils and circumstances that are undermining sinners to undermine you. You are in a high office. Ephesians 2, 6 says, After God saved us by his grace through Jesus, he made us to sit together with Jesus. Where? In the heavenly realms. You are earthly based, but spiritually positioned. In a high position of power. Are you understanding me? It says we shall be named. Go back to that Isaiah. I want you to see the benefit of who we are now. We are priests, we are kings. You'll be called priests of the Lord. Ministers of our God. You will feed on the treasures. What gives you power to access money is the office. Amen. 
don't allow devils to undermine you. You know if I'm sleeping and then some dream comes, like a dream maybe, it's like a car is chasing me. Or maybe some robbers. You know, it's a pity I don't dream these things. But if I can dream it, I can kick that blanket because it would be an undermining of my office. How can you be sleeping a whole Christian by 1 a.m.? Something comes and chokes you. Jesus! Je Tell your neighbor, excuse me. I! Look at your neighbor and say, I! Who? He made us kings and priests. Even if robbers have drunk an extra wine and alcohol and whiskey, they never dare think of going to rob the house of the president. Why should the devil rob you of things that are biblically yours? Jesus came to qualify us to legally prosper. Lift up your hand and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I will not underperform. But listen to me. This is where the area that you need to work on is the area of your mind. Can I teach you something different? Forget about devils. If the devil can see that you now know who you are, they will walk away. Work on your mind, work on your perception. When you are doing your makeup, your rooch, your, 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 your rooching, your, your pouching before the mirror, who do you see? You are not special because of the weave, you are special because of who you are. It's not the weave that makes you special. It is not the clothes we wear. The Bible says we are a chosen generation. We have a high position by reason of the new birth. Are you hearing me? Let's tell that devil to get lost. Tell poverty you've got no part in me. Say prosperity runs in my blood. Rise to your feet and say because of Jesus. Prosperity runs in my blood. I carry favor. Let us clap those hands and declare. Would I carry favor. Prosperity runs in my blood. I'm unstoppable. I'm a winner. I'm not born again to fail again. Say I'm born again to champion in life I'm a chosen generation oh shala massacre say I'm uncasable I'm unbewitchable say poverty will never hold me down I break through every time prosperity is mine in the name of Jesus say thank you Jesus are you blessed so far are you blessed so far are you blessed so far? Are you excited? Power is in your new identity. First John chapter 3, 1. It says, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of God. The world does not know who us because it never knew Jesus. But now we are who? Children of God. Power of identity. Before you board a plane, they want to see your ID. ID gives you access. Are you learning something? Before they allow you to receive a parcel sent from UK, they want your ID. ID gives you access. You are not catching it. I can feel you in my... ID gives you access. You can go to, a, to the bank and they start quitting you. The moment you say, oh, sorry, madam, I'm actually the daughter of the president. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, sorry, please find out what she wants. ID gives you access. 
as long as you see yourself as a child of your father and your grand grandparents from the village there's nothing for you in this kingdom because the bible just says just as you think so shall you be let's pray just pray for yourself be sincere say father i repent because i've not yet embraced my new identity i see myself as that rejected woman that troubled person that struggling man there father god i change i reconfigure myself we are born of the blood of jesus born of the spirit of god we are not born again to suffer again. Yes, talk to God, talk to God, talk to God. Lambro Kapazata. It's a mockery to God for me and for you to see ourselves like those same people we used to be. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5.17, if a person has connected to Christ, he's a new creation. The old order has passed. Behold! A new order is kicked in. Say, Father, I embrace myself in the order of the new identity. I'm a child of the Most High God. I belong to your mighty Father. I belong to your great Jehovah. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, all the curses are gone. The misfortune is gone. Yes, every bloodline curse is gone, diffused and dissolved by the blood, removed by the blood of the eternal covenant. I possess the new nature, the nature of Jehovah. I'm a child of the Most High God now. Lambroha Shana Masaka. Yes, Shalina Masukabaya. The new identity. Say thank you, Jesus. Say I know who I am. You know the song that is sung by Sinaj that says, I know who I am? Play that song non-stop. It's a powerful song. She really worked on that project. I wonder how many Christians are catching that. That song is fully biblical. The Bible says, just as Jesus is in heaven, so are we like him. Refuse to allow circumstances and devils to undermine you hallelujah you remember when david was standing in front of goliath eh, you remember the men knew who he was the king the army of israel his brothers were all hiding behind rocks david appeared they find this guy who was two times his height eh? david was about 1.8 eh? goliath was about eight meters Tall. He had six toes per foot, six per hand. The hand was like a shovel. If he claps you, you fall before he touches you. He was wearing size, the army boot he was wearing was size 25. Hello? Every size 12 here, Goliath was wearing times two of your size 12. Eh? This boy appears, he finds everyone hiding. He said, what's happening here? It's all about the victor's mindset. Knowing who you are. When problems arise, you up your sleeve. You say, I'm fit for this. I'm a fighter. I'm a warrior. Sickness, we are at taking a wrong one are you understanding me you've got to know who you are poverty cannot hold me down i always break loose money loves me because i'm a child of god the silver and the gold belongs to papa god hey you must be a warrior from tonight warriors must rise say i'm one of them say i rise i shine i rise i shine yes i rise i shine i rise i shine i rise i shine i rise i shine in the name of jesus you carry the fresh anointing you carry the money grace hallelujah
Hallelujah. The earth is the Lord's, right? In all its fullness. Let me see those who are the children of the Most High God. God is your Papa. He's the Most High. He's the Most High. So why are you most down? He's the Most High. And you are most down. He's the Most High. And you are most down. Say not after tonight. Say Father in the name of Jesus. I've been shortchanged for too long. I've been delayed for too long. I'm taking it by force. In the name of Jesus. Say by the power of my new identity. I'm unstoppable. The Bible that never lies. Say in 1 John chapter 5 verse number 4. Every child of God. Oh Shalina Masuka. In the New Living Translation. I love it. It says every child of God does what over Oshalima Sukabaya say I overcome let me see the overcomers in the house say it's me hallelujah every child of God does what from this time men of God no one is giving because you want a breakthrough hmm you give because we are increasing the money grace. You are no longer baby Christians. We need to grow. The Bible says we must grow in the grace. If you look at seven, Second Corinthians chapter 8 verse 7. Paul says as you excel in faith, in speech, in wisdom. Also see to it that you excel in the grace of giving. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. So weapon number one is the word of God on your mouth, right? Weapon number two is your identity. Move around with heaviness. You must feel yourself. Shoulders up. Chest out. Square up. Chest out. Don't be afraid of anything. David said to that tall Goliath, he was looking up like this. Goliath was... He said, you come to me with your spear, your javelin, and your sword. I'm coming against you in the name of the God who's my father. In the name of the God of the armies of Israel, whom you are despising. Whatsoever despises you, it despises your God. Ha! He said, you know what? I'll cut your head off. And I'll give it to the birds of the earth. You see how goliath lost the war he was he was confused the men suffered a mental short circuit because he could not understand how a boy whose size i double can say he's not even carrying he said he'll cut off my so while while goliath was trying to understand what's happening Oh, I declare you will bring down every Goliath because you are a child of the Most High God. Say, I'm a warrior, I'm a fighter, I'm a giant killer. I confront problems, I don't complain about them in the name of Jesus. Now, prophesy the sinner's song. Say, I know who I am. I'm God, I'm who God says I am. Oh, Shalina Masakababaya. Yeah, 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 prophesy. Prophesy, I know who I am. I'm who God says I am. Prosperity is mine. Lambra Kapazatabayana. Speak it, oh my God. Speak it with vigor. Speak it with aggression. Declare your new status. Say, I refuse. You touch your body, say, I command every pain to go. I command my internal organs to be renewed right now. I command my, my blood cells to be renewed. My muscles, my tissues, pain must go. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Sickness is illegal. Thank you, Jesus. Number three, weapon. Are you still in the house? 
over and above your identity. Your victory is the faith. Faith is your weapon. What is faith? To be sure. People complicate faith. Faith is simply to be sure. That no matter what challenge is before me, I will conquer it. Every day, you don't walk by analyzing the circumstances. You walk by declaring, I overcome. Every day, I overcome. Every day, I win. Every day, I break through. Every day, I take over. Every day, money is coming. Every day, I connect with the right people. When they ask you, how are you? I overcome. Faith is a language. It's not a wish. Hallelujah. When they say, how are you? I overcome. How are you? I win. How are you? I conquer. How are you? Doors are opening for me. How are you? My tomorrow is better than today. How are you? I'm a winner. Move around and say I'm a winner. How are you? I overcome. How are you? I conquer. How are you? I, I ho ho ho. How are you? Doors are opening for me. How are you? I am winning. Yes. During COVID, we were using a lot of sanitization. People were carrying sanitizers in their handbags. Everywhere you go, sanitizer. Afraid of COVID. Sanitize the negative spirit. Remove it. Are you understanding? Before problems COVID to you, sanitize yourself with the word. Before problems COVID to you, sanitize yourself with the word. The word of God stands forever. Hallelujah. Greet the person next to you. How are you? What did she say? How are you? I'm victorious. How are you? I'm in Vakama. How are you? I'm living over 100 years. I will not die before my time. How are you? I'm in Vakama. Hey. The scriptures never lie. Have you seen it? First John 5, 4. Never forget that. How are you? I overcome. Problems will always come, but the victory is our faith. Faith is a language. It must be spoken. Hallelujah. When you're driving your car, you say, I can't be in an accident. They say you are proud. You say, no, I, I'm a faith person. I'm a faith practitioner. You, are, you don't understand me. Are you understanding me? You say sickness cannot survive in my body. It will come, but it can't thrive. And you start moving, you say, I'm the bone of his bones. The Holy Spirit lives on the inside of me. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Sickness will always be biblically illegal. It is disallowed. Sickness is an encroachment. I reject it. Pain, go! <laughs> Did you hear me? I said, pain, go! Hey, arthritis, go! Diabetes, disappear! Oh, in my body be renewed! You are the temple of the Holy Ghost! The man of God may prophesy over you, but you need to be a prophet of your destiny. Yeah. Hallelujah! If you talk bad about people that prosper, prosperity will hate you. It's a spirit, it has got ears. Say thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hand and thank God. Did you learn something? Did you learn something?